Patients that have had steroids, glucocorticosteroids administered in the last month or so can be an issue. During the last six to eight weeks or so, if the, if the dog in particular has had uh, antibiotics for any reason, uh, it does have a chance to increase the resistance pattern of the fecal flora and the chances for a more resistant uh, urinary tract infection exist. So this is another definition of what a complicated urinary tract infection is, and this is probably one that most private practitioners are concerned about. The clinical signs don't go away, and the culture is still positive. And we're going to detail uh, how you tell the difference between a reinfection and a relapsing infection, but that's one of the very first questions that we're going to try to deal with. If the clinical signs uh, do not go away, uh, and the initial urine culture was positive, but the second urine culture was negative, then it's likely that the urinary tract infection was secondary to some underlying, uh, perhaps anatomical defect within the urinary tract. Things like urinary stones, cancer, transitional cell tumors, granulomas, things like that. 